Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh In this video we are going to solve two applications on chapter 17 The Atom Application 1 The adjacent figure represents the energies of the ground state and first four excited state of the hydrogen atom given the energy diagram as shown in the figure of the hydrogen atom and given the ground state E1 first excited state E2 second excited state E3 third excited state E4 fourth excited state E5 part 1 indicate the energy of the third excited state third excited state E4 pay attention ground state first excited state second excited state third excited state e4 which is equal minus 0 0.85 electron volt part 2 a determine the wavelength wavelength يعني بدي اللمدة of the emitted photon due to the de-excitation of the atom due to the downward transition of the atom from the energy levels e3 to e1 first of all E photon equal E high minus E low and E high minus E low equal E3 minus E1 equal 12.09 electron volt convert from electron volt to joule multiply times 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 E photon is calculated then the formula E photon equal HC over lambda and E photon in joule so lambda equal HC over E photon H given C given E photon calculated then lambda from E3 to E1 1.027 times 10 minus 7 equal 102.7 nanometer now from E5 to E2 same steps followed as in part I we get lambda 5 to equal 434 nanometer Part 3 from E4 to E3 also same steps we get lambda 4 3 which of the above three photons is visible infrared ultraviolet as you know the range of visible spectrum range of wavelength lambda visible should be between 400 nanometer and 800 nanometer lambda 3 1 102.7 nanometer less than 400 so ultraviolet lambda 5 2 4 3 4 nanometer so visible lambda 4 3 1 8 8 0 nanometer infrared the hydrogen atom is in the ground or or the fundamental state the atom is hit by a photon of energy 11 electron volt the energy of the incident photon equal 11 electron volt in this part we make excitation of the atom by a photon the question is specify whether this photon is absorbed or not in order this photon to be absorbed the energy of this photon remember should be exactly equal to the difference between two energy levels E photon equal E high minus E low but E low equal E1 equal minus 13.6 calculate E high E high equal minus 2.6 electron volt go to the diagram no energy level has the value minus 2.6 electron volt in this case this photon cannot be absorbed between a bracket no interaction between atom photon deduce the state of the atom and the atom remains in the ground state part c determine the energy needed by a photon capable to excite the atom to the second excited state e low e1 e high second excited state e3 so e photon equal e high minus e low which is equal 12.09 electron volt e photon equal hc over lambda lambda calculated in part 2a1 equal to 1 
0.2.7 nanometer. Application 2. The energy levels of hydrogen atom H atom is given by En equal minus E0 over N squared. N is a non zero positive number E0 is a constant number given H 1 electron volt 2 joule C speed of light in vacuum the energy levels of the hydrogen atom are negative explain why all the energy levels of the hydrogen atom are below the ionized state which is the reference of energies where E equal to zero E equal to zero ionized state this is the, ref the reference of the energy levels and all levels are below so the energy levels are negative we can make a simple analogy with the gravitational potential energy Pot gravitational potential energy below the reference is negative above the reference is positive if you want part 2 the energy of the atom is quantized each energy level takes a well specific value of energy only specific values of energy are allowed part 3 calculate the value of the constant E0 of E4 equal minus 0 0.85 electron volt معي E4 given حل ال EN وال N equal 4 بحسب E0 بتطلع 13.6 Part 4 Define and calculate the ionization energy of hydrogen atom taken at the ground state Definition شفناها قبل بالكورس Minimum energy needed to excite the atom from its ground state to the ionized state from E1 to E infinity E ionized equal E infinity minus E1 equal 13.6 Part 5 Calculate the frequency of the emitted radiation Emitted radiation Calculate the frequency When the atom moves from the second excited state E3 to the ground state E1 The excitation of the atom from E3 to E1 So E photon equal E high minus E low E3 minus E1 equal H nu 3 1 So nu 3 1 E3 minus E1 over H Substitute Answer 2.92 10 power 15 Part 6 Calculate the minimum and the maximum wavelength is emitted Due to the de-excitation of the atom to the ground state في عندي given Minimum wavelength De-excitation to the ground state Lambda is minimum When E high minus E low is maximum since E high minus E low equal HC over lambda So lambda minimum E high minus E low maximum E low equal E1 given In order E high minus E low to be maximum So E high should be equal E infinity The ionized state صار عندك E high و E low HC على lambda بتقدر تحسب lambda طلع معك ال value لل lambda Lambda maximum So E high minus E low minimum E low 1 E high equal E2 in order to get the minimum energy lambda to 1 substitute bit al value the hydrogen atom part 7 the hydrogen atom in the ground state it receives a photon of energy 15 electron volt E photon equal 15 electron volt show that an electron is liberated from the atom and calculate the kinetic energy of the liberated electron in this case interaction atom photon E photon 15 electron volt which is greater than the ionization energy 13.6 so electron moves from the ground state to the ionized state electron بتحرك من E1 ل E infinity and it liberates from the atom with kinetic energy apply Einstein's relation E photon equal E ionized plus E kinetic E kinetic E photon minus E ionized equal 1.4 electron volt